Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the penis. So first of all, we'll go through the transverse section of the penis. What are the identifying points in the transverse section of the penis? We have two corpora cavernosum, one corpus spongiosum, and these are the erectile tissue it is covered by the tunica albuginea. Tunica albuginea also forms a septum between two corpora cavernosa and another erectile tissue is the corpus spongiosum that contains the penal urethra also called spongy urethra. The penis is covered by skin that is lined by stratified squamous keratinous epithelium. We have subcutaneous tissue, then deep fascia that is also called box fascia. That fascia covers all three erectile tissue. The corpus spongiosum is located ventrally. The corpus cavernosum on each side is located dorsally. And we have a lot of blood vessel on the dorsal aspect here. And there is a central artery of the penis that passes through the corpus cavernosum. So if you go to the transverse section of the penis, again, tunica albuginea is a dense fibroelastic connective tissue. This is the tunica albuginea. That is the dense fibroelastic connective tissue. It surrounds the corpus cavernosum. It also surrounds the corpus spongiosum. In corpus spongiosum, it is comparatively thinner than that of corpus cavernosum area here. And this is a fibroelastic connective tissue. So the corporal mass of erectile tissue are, are small blood vessel. And here, this is the corpus cavernosum. One, another one is here, corpus cavernosum. We have a lot of vascular spaces. This vascular spaces, blood vessels, and the smooth muscle trabeculae in between the spaces forms the erectile tissue. This will, will get the vascular spaces and we have also get the central artery in the center of the, of the corpus cavernosa. In the center of the corpus spongiosa, we will get the penile urethra. Okay, so if you go to the, to the structure here in a histological section, here this is the corpus spongiosum. This is the penile urethra, also called spongy urethra. This is lined by pseudostratified columnar epithelium or it may be lined by the stratified squamous epithelium, especially in the glans penis area, it is lined by the stratified squamous epithelium. And this penile urethra Mucosa is folded, it receives some urethral gland called gland sub liter that, that opens into the penile urethra. So it is covered, it is surrounded by the tunica albuginea here. Here again, this is the corpus cavernosa and we have erectile tissue both in the corpus spongiosum as well as in the corpus cavernosum. This is the, the, the vascular spaces lined by the, by the endothelial cell and it is fed by the helicine artery. Helicine artery are branches of the central artery of the penis and though that is also lined by the endothelial cell and the artery, there is artery of venous anastomosis. We have on the dorsum of the penis, we have also vein. 
okay so we got that and these are the trabeculae and trabeculae around the erectile tissue with the this erectile tissue are called cavernous spaces okay they are lined by endothelium and this is the muscle this is the muscular trabeculae composed of smooth muscle that muscle cells are spindle shaped also contain collagen fiber and elastic fiber this is the tunica albuginea that is a dense fiber elastic connective tissue i'm saying here one helicine artery there is a branch of the central artery of the penis this helicine artery will feed blood will will push blood to the cavernous spaces for the erection of penis okay so we have some fact about the histology of the penis the skin is loose and forms the foreskin over the glans penis the skin may have some hair follicle at the root of the penis area the under surface of the foreskin is moist and contain mucus gland so that is found only in uncircumcised penis okay if it is circumcised penis foreskin or, or prepuce is taken out so that it will not exist there the glans penis is a continuation of corpus spongiosum skin of the penis is lined by keratinized stratified squamous epithelium we have subcutaneous tissue under the skin then we have the the deep fascia this is called box fascia then we have the tunic albuginea containing three erectile tissue two corpora cavernosa and one corpus spongiosum urethra is lined by pseudo stratified or stratified coronal epithelium cavernous sinuses are lined by endothelial cell deep penile fascia box fascia covers all three cavernous bodies okay so this is the erectile tissue it is receiving, receiving blood flow blood blood by means of the helicine artery helicine arteries are branches of the central artery of the penis okay there is also artery of venous anastomosis so what happened uh, during the reabsorption stage space is minimum the the helicine artery are also constricted due to parasympathetic stimulation during erection what happened and there will be more blood is coming to the to the spaces cavernous spaces the artery wall become relaxed the muscular trabeculae become relaxed so that is parasympathetic stimulation that causes erection of penis okay so when at, at ejaculation that is a sympathetic activity there will be vasoconstriction okay and there will be relaxation of the penis it will be again flaccid during the it will again flaccid like that okay so during the erection of penis there is collection of blood here and venous return is blocked by the tunica albuginea okay so what is the mechanism of erection of penis erection is caused by parasympathetic stimulation and release of acetylcholine that is the neurotransmitter okay acetylcholine releases nitric oxide that is no from the endothelial cells endothelial cells of the helicine artery endothelial cell of the cavernous spaces or vascular spaces nitric oxide then diffuses into the smooth muscle we have muscular trabeculae between the vascular spaces activate guanylate cyclase to produce cyclic gmp guanosine monophosphate which relaxes the smooth muscle the vascular spaces are filled with blood from the helicine artery and causes penal erection and blood cannot go back because of the compression by the tunica albuginea at ejaculation sympathetic stimulation constricts the helicine arteries and the trabecular muscle and decreases the blood flow to the vascular spaces
So erectile dysfunction can result from multiple regions. One is the diabetes mellitus. Another one is atherosclerosis or long-standing hypertension or atherosclerotic diseases or vascular diseases due to anxiety or nervousness or due to nerve damage, maybe as a complication of prostate surgery or maybe due to damage to the spinal cord. So the popular drug sildenafil, that is Viagra, that is the, the product of Pfizer, is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. It prevents the degrading of the cyclic GMP in the smooth muscles. The smooth muscle remain relaxed and vascular spaces are filled, filled with blood from the helicent arteries, maintaining the erection of penis. Okay, so these are my references. So before going to conclude, we like to review some of them. We have gone through the erectile dysfunction. Okay, so let me go through the mechanism of erection of penis. So erection is done by the parasympathetic stimulation, the ejaculation and the flaccidness of the penis follow follow following the erection is done by the sympathetic innervation okay so we got that now what happened during erection of penis there will be blood flow to the vascular spaces by means of the helicin arteries and the blood cannot return back because of compression by the tunic albuginia venous return is prevented so that is the parasympathetic activity Sympathetic activity includes the ejaculation and the constriction of the blood vessel and constriction of the, the muscles. Space will be limited, so there will be placid pains. Okay, we have, we have to know that what is prepuce of foreskin that is present in uncircumcised penis. Penis and the mucus underneath the foreskin is, is, is moist because of mucus secretion. Okay, and urethra, we have to find out the urethra. Urethra is, is present in the corpus spongiosum and it is lined by pseudostatified or stratified squamous columnar epithelium. Box fascia is the deep fascia. Okay, so this is corpus spongiosum. This is the urethra. It contains, it receives some duct of the mucus gland called Erythral gland called or gland of litter. Okay, and this is the tunica albuginea around the around the corpus spongiosum. This is corpus cavernosum. Okay, and these are the con this is the erectile tissue here, vascular spaces with muscular trabecula that contains smooth muscle and also the elastic fiber and collagen fiber. Okay, we have also seen some helicin artery here. It is it will feed the, the vascular spaces. Okay. Okay, we have corpus cavernosum, corpus cavernosum, and corpus spongiosum containing the urethra. Urethra is in the corpus spongiosum. This is the septum that is also formed between the corpus cavernosum, that is also formed by the tunic albuginea. Okay, we got the transverse section of the penis. This is the central artery of the penis. These are all our cavernous spaces. This is tunic albuginia that forms septum. And also there is tunic albuginia around the corpus spongiosum. And the corpus spongiosum contains the spongy urethra. The skin, superficial fascia. The deep fascia cover all three erectile tissue. That is called box fascia. And that's all about the histology of the penis. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.